So how do you change your mouse cursor in PowerPoint into the hidden PowerPoint laser pointer, which does come in red, green, and blue, All right? In this video, I'm gonna show you how this works with both your mouse and the trackpad on your keyboard. Now, first off, why is this my favorite laser pointer to use in PowerPoint? It's my favorite simply because it's free. So even if you already have a laser pointer you like to use in PowerPoint, I recommend watching this video so you understand how this hidden laser pointer works so you can always have it as a backup. So let's talk about the four different ways to change your mouse cursor into the hidden PowerPoint laser pointer, which does have to happen here in slideshow mode. So while you're running your presentation. Now, the first way to change your mouse cursor into the laser pointer is to use the pop-up toolbar, which you'll find in the lower left-hand corner here in slideshow mode. So if I just click this little pen icon, notice there is a laser pointer option. Selecting it, my mouse cursor becomes the default red laser pointer. Now doing so, I don't have to hold anything down on my keyboard and I can go back a slide. My laser pointer stays locked into place, I can come back to the previous slide and my laser pointer continues to work until I hit the escape key. So hitting the escape key, my laser pointer again becomes my normal mouse cursor. So that's the first and probably easiest way to change your mouse cursor into the laser pointer is just using that pop-up toolbar. Similar to the pop-up toolbar, we can also right-click with our mouse to get to the right-click pointer options and laser pointer menu. So if I just right-click here on my slide, here in presentation view, notice I have the pointer options and there's the laser pointer again. Again, selecting the laser pointer here, I don't need to hold anything down on my keyboard and I can go back a slide, the laser pointer stays, I can come back to the previous slide. So this laser pointer stays again until I hit the escape key on my keyboard, at which point my laser pointer simply becomes my mouse cursor again. Now, if you don't have your mouse, you can use two fingers. So two fingers on your trackpad to open up this right click menu. If I just use two fingers, my right click menu opens. I can come and use my trackpad for pointer options, laser pointer, which again locks that laser pointer until I again hit the escape key, at which point my mouse cursor again becomes just the normal arrow. So that's two fingers on your trackpad, which is the same as right clicking to get to the laser pointer option in the right click menu. Now, a third way to change your mouse cursor into a laser pointer is to left click click and hold for three seconds. So one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. In this case, you cannot move your mouse cursor around while you're holding. You need to pause one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. It becomes a laser pointer. I need to continue to hold down the left click button on my mouse to move it around. This is a new method that Tom just taught me and you can use this with your trackpad. The trick to using this with your trackpad is to two fingers down for one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi. Your cursor becomes the laser pointer, at which point you can just use one finger to move it around on your screen. So those are two different ways to click and hold to use the laser pointer. Now the fourth way to do this, which is my personal favorite, is to hold the control key on my keyboard and then click and drag with your mouse. So if I bring up a graphic of dueling bar charts, I can hold the control key and click and drag with my mouse to again get that default red laser pointer and I'll show you how to change the laser pointer color in just a second. As a quick recap so far, there are four ways to change your mouse cursor into a laser pointer. The pop-up toolbar, right clicking with your mouse, left clicking with your mouse. Don't forget to hold for three seconds or four seconds if you're using your trackpad and you can use my personal favorite which is holding the control key and then click and dragging with your mouse. Now let's talk about how to change the laser pointer color between red, green, and blue. And first off, why would you wanna change your laser pointer color? Notice that red on red doesn't look very good. I've already changed mine to blue. Green on red looks a little bit better and blue on red looks even better yet. So you're basically changing your laser pointer color based on your presentation so that you have a high contrast situation so people can actually see what it is you're pointing out on screen where again, if this is a red on red, that's not gonna look very good. To change the laser pointer color, you're gonna to come to the slideshow tab and find the setup slideshow command. Now, if you need to do this 10, 50, or 100 times a day, there is a secret PowerPoint shortcut that I'll show you next to quickly access this setup slideshow dialog box. But let's first look at how to do this in the ribbon. So here in PowerPoint, I wanna change my laser pointer color. It's currently blue. I'll come to the slideshow tab. I'll come and select setup slideshow. Here you can make a number of different options about how your presentation runs, including changing the laser pointer color. It's blue. Let's see what it looks like green. I'll click OK. I'll click slideshow down below. Control drag to see the green laser pointer color. Let's say that I don't like the green one. I want to go back to red. I'll hit escape. Slideshow tab. Set up slideshow. Come and change the laser pointer back to the default red color. Click OK. Let's see what that looks like. Control, click and drag with my mouse. Again, my favorite way to access the laser pointer and this is what the red laser pointer color looks like. Now let's look at the secret PowerPoint shortcut for quickly accessing the setup slideshow dialog box, which is useful if you need to do this 10, 50, or 100 times a day here in PowerPoint. 
And the secret PowerPoint shortcut is holding the shift key down on your keyboard and either clicking the reading pane icon or the slideshow icon that you can find at the bottom of your PowerPoint workspace. And the reason that this is a secret PowerPoint shortcut is because very few people would think of holding the shift key and clicking one or more of these icons that you'll find at the bottom of your screen. So back here in PowerPoint, I'm gonna hold the shift key on my keyboard. So holding the shift key, I'll click the reading pane icon down below, which is gonna pop open the setup slideshow dialog box. So I can change my laser pointer from red to green, click okay. For another presentation, I'll hold the shift key and click the slideshow icon, which again pops open this dialog box, allowing me to quickly change any of these really um, options about my slideshow. But in this case, we're just worried about our laser pointer. I'll click okay. Again, finally, shift and reading pane icon. I can again, switch it back to red. So this is a super fast way using this secret PowerPoint shortcut to quickly change your laser pointer color. Now let me quickly address two common laser pointer questions people have. The first question is, does changing my laser pointer color affect all of my other PowerPoint presentations? And the answer is no. If you have three presentations with three different laser pointer colors, so red the default, one's changed the green, one's changed the blue, all right, changing this presentation's laser pointer color to blue will not affect any of the other presentations on your computer. In the same way, if you change one to green, so that's a high contrast situation, right, your blue laser pointer color and all your default red laser pointer colors will not change. So this happens at the presentation level. It does not happen at the PowerPoint level across the board. Another question you might have is, is, can you use the PowerPoint laser pointer when running two or more presentations at the same time? The answer is yes. The only caveat is you do need to use that control plus click and drag with your mouse. So let's quickly take a look. Back here in PowerPoint, I'm simply gonna minimize my screen. Here I have an English version of my presentation running in a window. Here I have a Chinese version of that same presentation now running in its own individual window. If I control and click and drag with my mouse, you can see the laser pointer color here is green, but it does not pass over onto the English version of my presentation. If I click into my English version of my presentation and I control and drag, you can see the red laser pointer works. So you can run the laser pointer here in or while running two or more presentations at the same time. The only trick is you do need to use this control plus click and drag with your mouse to access it because if you right click, notice there is no laser pointer option here in these right click menus. So you do again need to hold the control key and click and drag with your mouse if you want to run two presentations side by side as individual windows. If you learned something new about Microsoft PowerPoint, please let me know with a thumbs up here on YouTube. Your takeaways for this video are is the laser pointer is free to use in Microsoft PowerPoint. There are four different ways to access it, which I covered inside this video. There are three different colors you can choose from using the setup slideshow dialog box. The laser pointer color is saved at the presentation level, not the PowerPoint level. And this does work when running two or more PowerPoint presentations at the same time. You just need to use that control plus click and drag with your mouse. If you're new to our channel and want to keep up to date on my latest PowerPoint hacks, tips, and tricks, what I call PowerPoint hack trickery, make sure you subscribe here on YouTube. And if you're just looking for some PowerPoint resources to help get you to happy hour, like blog posts and video courses, look for the links directly beneath this video. This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training, and I'll see you at happy hour.